Children, I have a riddle. Once upon a time, in a land of dreams, there was a curious child with golden hair and blue eyes, who was always chasing adventures. His name was Ege. His favourite thing in the world was to embark on adventures and explore the places in his imagination. One day at school, Ege's favourite teacher asked them a riddle. Under the sky, above the ground, filled with people from different nations, where dreams take flight, what place is this? Ege set out on a quest to find the answer to the riddle, deciding to search for clues to solve it. He thought and thought, but no matter whom he asked, he couldn't find the answer. As Ege pondered the riddle's solution, he stumbled upon a live television news broadcast from eager Istanbul Airport. The reporter said, Under the sky, above the ground, filled with people from different nations where dreams take flight, this enormous structure is eager Istanbul Airport that hosts everyone. In the midst of this, Ege drifted off to sleep. He woke up the next morning to the sweet voice of his mother. Excited, he went to her and told her that in his dream they had gone to eager Istanbul Airport. His mother, curious about his dream, asked him to share it. Ege began, Mum, today we're going to eager Istanbul Airport, but in my dream. I had so many adventures even before we went there. I think I found the answer to the riddle in my dream. His mother smiled at his excitement and encouraged him to share his dream. In Ege's dream, he found himself at eager Istanbul Airport. Here he met a rabbit in glasses, dressed in a flight attendant's uniform. His name was Ruzgar. Ruzgar carried Ege on his back and began to show him around the airport. They hopped over to the control tower first. The control tower was like the heart of the airport. Here they met the air traffic controllers who directed planes arriving from all over the world. Ege asked curiously, What are these big screens and buttons for Rizgar? Rizgar looked at Ege and said, these are the eyes and ears of the airport, Ege. The controllers use these screens and buttons to guide the planes, ensuring their safe takeoff and landing. This keeps everything organised and in control. Ege's eyes widened in amazement. Wow! The airport is really big and glorious. How can everything be so orderly and controlled? Rizgar smiled and replied, Ege, here everyone fulfills their responsibilities on time and perfectly. Everyone knows their duties and everything happens on schedule. The airport is like an orchestra where everyone works in harmony. Ege listened carefully to Rizgar's words and then murmured to himself, Fulfilling responsibilities on time and perfectly. Everyone working in harmony. Maybe this is the answer to the riddle my teacher gave me. As Ege mumbled to himself, Ruzgar leaned in and whispered into his ears. Our next stop is the passenger terminal. There you'll see travellers coming and going from all over the world. After the lesson at the control tower, Eggy excitedly hopped alongside Rizgar toward the passenger terminal. The terminal was bustling with people from all over the world. Children speaking different languages. People in various attire. Everyone had their unique stories and dreams. Ege couldn't wait to hear about their dreams and stories. Rizgar whispered to him, Do you see it, Ege? Just like you said, it's filled with people from all around the world. 
As Ege and Ruzgar passed through the passenger terminal, they noticed a young girl deeply engrossed in something. She was wearing a traditional Japanese kimono and had a crown of flowers on her head. In her hands, she held some colourful paper that she was folding and shaping. Ege and Ruzga approached her curiously. She introduced herself as Sakura and said, I'm doing origami. Do you know what that is? Ege, in awe, watched as the paper in her hands transformed into a tiny bird. Sakura wanted to teach him and after a while, Ege managed to make his own origami tiger. Rizka watched them both in awe. Through this experience, Ege understood that the airport wasn't just a transit point, but a place to explore. This little adventure at the airport increased Ege's love for the place and his desire to explore further. After having an enjoyable time with Sakura, Ege and Ruzgar had to bid farewell to their new friend. Sakura gifted Ege a handmade origami bird and Ege gave her his tiny origami tiger. Sakura smiled and said, May the freedom and strength of this bird always be with you. They said their goodbyes. After this, Ege turned to Ruzgar and said, I understand now, Ruzgar, under the sky, above the ground, filled with people from different nations where dreams take flight. This place is eager Istanbul Airport. Ruzgar smiled and nodded in agreement. Ege told his mother that when he had woken up from his dream, he had been very happy. His mother said, well then, let's go and see if Iga Istanbul Airport is as wonderful as your dream and if it's the answer to the riddle. They went to the airport together. As they entered, Ege looked around in awe. The towering ceiling, spacious corridors and shimmering lights. The grandeur of the airport took his breath away. He was amazed when he saw the special passage designed for children. He exclaimed to his mother, Come on, Mum! Let's go through here! After passing through the family lane, a security officer smiled at Ege and said, Welcome to Eager Istanbul Airport. Put your bags in this box and go through. Explore Eager Istanbul Airport. Ege thought to himself, this place is really amazing, just like in my dream. And so, Ege's magical adventure at Eager Istanbul Airport came to an end. But Ege knew that every time he visited Eager Istanbul Airport, he would experience a new and delightful adventure. <laughs>